four. We're gonna have that much time. Hello, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, girl, where are you at? Are you out in the world? I'm at Walmart. <laughs> Oh, not you looking for me in that Walmart job. And no, I've been out shopping with my baby all day. Hey, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So you at Walmart watching my show right now. Yes, yes. When you call my name the first time, my sister called to cuss me out because she we've been watching your show trying to get on. And she was like, get on there right now. I'm like, but I ain't at home. I ain't got no clothes on. She said, well, she going to pick you tonight because you ain't got no clothes on in your ass did. <laughs> Well, I picked you because you selected. So you ready, boo? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. What's your name, honey? Yvonne. Yvonne, where are you calling us from? I am in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Mm -hmm. All right. What did you do for a living? I am a dialysis tech slash realtor. A realtor? Yes. And a dialysis tech? Yes. You have any? Oh, you have a child. How many kids do you have? Seven. She's the youngest. You have seven children. How old are your seven kids? How old? From 16 to 30. I need all the ages. Oh, 16, 19, 18, 25, 28, 29, 30. Did you give birth to all seven? I did. All separate, too. Okay. And <laughs> Put right on you. out. Huh? How old are you? 46. Oh, 46. Hey, mm -hmm. um, how many men do you have children by? Uh, five. Five men. Have you ever been married? Mm -hmm. Yes, recently divorced. When did you get divorced? Um, June. Officially divorced? Like the state oh, officially divorced? done. Done. My last name okay. is changed. Done. Okay. Was you married to one of your children's fathers? Yes, two of them for 18 years. So you've been married twice? Once. No, um, once, but you have two him. kids by him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you were married to him for 18 years, yes. Okay, okay, so you had five kids when you married him, I did. Okay, so we got Yvonne Stone Mountain, realtor, dialysis tech, um, mom of seven kids by five men, was married for 18 years, just got divorced. Mm -hmm. Why did I get divorced? Um, it just ran its course, it was, it was okay. Open. All right, she's 46, been divorced since last June, officially divorced. What mm -hmm. kind of man you looking for now, honey? A good one. <laughs> What's a good man to you? Um, someone who knows that I'm number one, um, that put me first, an unselfish man, um, outgoing man, caring, understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers. Selfishness rap music all the time um let me see uh, yeah basically I, I don't like um people that think they're young i guess men that act like they're young you know not mature um i don't know i don't really it's hard to explain it just want a grown man she wants a grown man okay <laughs> should he look a certain way so we are back again with another mom of seven. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. This is another video that we have already watched, but we're going to bring it to the congregation. Um, Miss Yvonne, seven whole kids that she didn't had by four, well, five, five baby men. daddies. At least she has her baby daddies down packed. Right. Uh, uh, versus Miss Poison. Um, so that let me run through the ages in case y'all didn't get the ages. 30, 29, 28, 25, 19, 18, and 16. She started with her first kid around 15, 16 years old. Hmm. And she got married to a man when she had five kids. Yeah, five kids at the time, four baby daddies. She was married to this man for 18 years. Had two kids by him. And all she got to say is the marriage ran its course. Ran its course. Huh. Oh, Lord have mercy. What do y'all be doing in Stone Mountain? 
fucking screwing. <laughs> There ain't much to do else in Stone Mountain, I guess. What do y'all be doing in Stone Mountain? Like, this is insane. But I'm just stuck on the fact. Okay, yeah, she got seven kids, but she was you managed to find a husband. You was with him for almost twenty years, and it just ran its course. That's yeah. This is where you know. Do what you want, fellas. We, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. I'm sure we've, you've heard the debate. It's not good to step daddy. Don't play step daddy. Why you don't play step daddy? This is a prime example right here. This man, and she's just, he just ran his course. Took her in or, or dealt with her when she had five children already by four different men. I mean, if that don't, there's more, you know, there's more things. It's a forthcoming foreshadowing, but that alone should just tell you everything you need to know. So in these 18 years, this man was married. You, you think he didn't help with one bill? You think he didn't pay for something that somebody else's responsibility that he wasn't accountable for? You think he didn't go in 18 years? He didn't go an, uh, the extra mile for this woman to help her out when in her time? And to just be 18 years later, just it just ran its course. It's just, oh, well, it's over. That's all. It's, all right. it's over. It meant nothing to her. 18 it, years with this man. This is one of her baby daddies, too. Uh, again, it meant nothing to her. Again, the, these when you deal with these type of women, fellas, you don't fit into their family. When they think about a family, it doesn't include you. You're not nope. either you're the stepdaddy or the real daddy. They've, they've found a way to make the family without you. It's something that we've we've grown accustomed to because we're talking about I'm talking about he's not her family or he doesn't fit into her family when she already had children. So that mm -hmm. doesn't account the four men beforehand and whatever happened with that. It's just a disregard, just same way like poison. It's just this woman is not living an alternative lifestyle, but it's the same thing. Either way you look at it, it's just a disregard for men and what men mean to the family structure. This is all that this is. It, after 20 at he 18 years five children and it just ran its course that's crazy to me let's continue there's more to come but let's continue okay so i want to go to some of the questions that the cousin had for her let me find that okay we got a couple of questions let's, let's start off with this one Antoine Crown, he sent fifty dollars to say this. He said you he divorced said the man that helped. Antoine Crown said you divorced the man that helped you raise five kids that weren't his for eighteen years. That's a big red flag. Let me stop him at that question, that 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 statement, because he got to ask: Did he help me raise those kids for eighteen years, or was he just the man in my house? Because I know I just said I was looking for an unselfish man, right? Mm -hmm. Um. I put my own way. I definitely raised, I definitely financially cared for all five of my children. So, Ooh, so, so, not he, gonna feels, so he, was, he was living off of you. He was not living off of me. Now he was not living off of me. Right. But I took care of my own kids. Okay. He paid half the bills, you know, just, just put it like that. We'll leave it right there. He paid half the bills. And going to get the kids' hair done and school shopping was not a bill. Okay. Okay. Here, here's another question for you. Donnell Jones said, you say that you want a man to put you first, but why would he put you first if you're not willing to put him first over any of your children? Can he who put his I kids wasn't? above you? Who, who said I wasn't? I didn't say that. Oh, you would put the man above your children. I mean, to a certain extent, ain't, ain't that in the Bible? Ain't, don't my man come first? Ain't he the mm -hmm. man supposed to be the head of the household? Now we biblical. Huh. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> well, I never well, we I got never clarity, Darnell, that the, the mm -hmm. new man would, would come before her children. All right, Yvonne said, Yvonne said, y'all got her messed up. Any more questions? They got me messed up. I, I mean, come on now. I can't want a man. I can't want a good man if I ain't willing to be a good woman. 
Oh my God. So you a good woman. What make you a good woman, sis? You had all these kids out of wedlock, divorced your husband, no credible reason to divorce him. What makes you a good woman? Because you took care of your kids. You're supposed to take care of them. You brought them into this world. Absolutely. That's the minimum. Absolutely. But um, just the complete disregard for this man. Like he, he man paid half the yeah, he paid half the bills. Okay. How much did how much financial contribution did you really expect for him to come in and you already had five kids? That's what I'm saying. Half the bills for five kids is way more than a contribution. That would in turn <laughs> right. like that's a, that would award him something. That would afford him some respect. That means he did something. For her to just say it like he didn't do nothing. He was just in the house. That's nonsense. And then she had to clean it up because she, she didn't want to make it seem like, or oh, maybe she's capping a little bit, but she didn't want to make it seem like she took care of him. So, oh, yeah, he helped with half the bills. Half the bills for damn near 10 people? That's a lot. You're insane, man. This is insane. And another thing, this this kills me all the time. With her, this is, <laughs> this everything about this one kills me. But overall, why does it why does now you you put that man first? You didn't put baby daddy number one, two, three, four, <laughs> husband, any of them first, but now we we're gonna we're supposed to believe that you're going to put a man first or above your children. Not to say you should. I'm just saying the time to do that was the baby daddies ago, or even at your husband. So again, like this is all disingenuous. Like now at this time in your life, you turned over a new leaf and you now you've realized what's important. And now it's about the man in your life. You had many men shout out to 50 cent in your life, <laughs> many, many, many men in your life. And you had the chance to do that. So to now you're going to reverse skate damn near 50 years old. Now you're ready to be a good woman and put a. This is nonsense, man. This is nonsense. And then you want a generous. Did she say generous? No, no, no. That wasn't her choice of words. I might be putting words in that lady mouth. I can't uh, remember the exact words she used, but she wants a some kind of man. caring man. Like he's supposed caring, to put her. Understanding. Yeah. He's supposed to put her first. Like, okay, if this man wasn't caring, why did it take you 18 years to leave him? You had no problem leaving none of your other baby daddies. It seems like this seems like that you helped me get them to grown and now you can go. That's all it seemed like to me. Like you found the sucker that would have took you in with all them goddamn kids. He helped you. <laughs> now them kids is out the house. Now he can go. You can dismiss them now. It ran his course. Yeah, his course was to help you your stupid ass with them kids. Not not him. Fellas, again, stop playing <laughs> stepdaddy. Stop playing stepdaddy to save somebody. Ain't no nobility in that. Ain't no honor in that. You're not going to get a good look. You're not going to get you in the heaven's gates. It's none of that. None of this is going to happen. None of it. You're just going to be end up just like this. Oh, he didn't do much. Oh, it was my, I did it all. Well, you he probably was paying the whole goddamn note for, for all we know. Yeah. Right. And then another part, she said that getting the kids hair done and, um, and taking them to school and stuff like that. Um, get them school supplies or something like that. Yeah. That was nothing. That that's that a costs a lot. Oh well, yeah. And Please, he got man. two kids there too, so he's he's um he's contributing to the household for sure. I and you to. got all these these prior kids. What do you really expect this man to do? The responsibility is on you. Those, the, you know who respond? It's on you and whoever you had them kids with. Like, why would you you giving them a free pass, but you're gonna chide him for what he didn't help you with? You should be chiding your baby daddies from not helping. And spoiler alert: we we found out that she didn't get any child support from them. It's like a they gone type of situation. I, if I remember correctly, she wasn't receiving any child support. Like he was helping her. They were doing it together. Her husband at the time was helping her with all them kids, but she's chiding him to say now after 18, 20 years, oh, he really wasn't helping that much in there. It wasn't this and this and that. So where was them other four men that you laid down with? Y'all got to stop doing this, man. Now, we think this is cute. Like y'all, y'all talk. If a man came up here 
and he said he had seven kids by five women, it would be all kind of his responsibilities and how could he do this and he left them here and he's deadbeat this and that. She ain't no different. This deadbeat mamas too. Deadbeat mamas too. And I'm going to give you a little more information if you're not familiar. This woman got seven kids. She said she got six girls. She got six girls. What kind of example is she showing? What kind of lifestyle or values that she would she be instilling in six little girls having man after man back to back nuts and kids and all like this is this is crazy talk and we think this is cute this is problematic for our society we are too comfortable with baby mamas and baby daddies and all this nonsense man and i'm a victim of it too i'm now i'm no different than anybody else but when you when you learn you get new information you change it changes your opinion this is yeah. raggedy as all hell, man. This is raggedy. Sorry. Take it for whatever you want. It's raggedy. Period. And that's, and that's why our motto is just because you was raised in dysfunction don't mean you got to stay in it. So what that means is just because you came from all of this, just because that's been the normal, now it's time to get a new normal. Let's get back to where we're supposed to be tradition order structure this is not how it was meant to be not at all baby mama ism baby daddy ism and all of that and just acting wild crazy and stuff that's not how we were meant to be like we believe in black excellence and this is not black excellence we no. can do better than this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can do better this is the worst of our I'm not trying to disrespect this lady at all, but this is the worst of our society. When we put these examples up here, like this is not the norm. This shouldn't be the norm. It shouldn't, shouldn't be. She shouldn't even, I'm not going to say, well, yet again, we need to bring back that scarlet letter, that shame. She should be ashamed of herself to, to come up here and present a story like this. This shouldn't be empowering. This shouldn't be a place to go gather and go find you somebody else to, to compliment your bad mistakes. This is a lifetime of bad decisions. If it ended you right here, you, all that all that DNA that you got up in you, all them kids you had, all them legacies that you supposed to carry on, and it led you right back here to Kendra G. Nothing, looking for a man again. Like, this is crazy, man. This is, hmm. I don't so like me, this. Let me get to the, the other questions that the cousins had is um because she's gonna expound on why she left her baby dad hmm. or her ex-husband per se. Hmm. I think you listen, you you are touching on some emotions tonight. We got another question for you, King. Please okay. Sent money to say. I guess they want clarity on your ex-husband. So this is a clarity question. Oh my God. They said, Listen, I'm trying to find a new husband. And, I know, and I, I guess it's just, I, I think it's because they want to know. Okay, well, let's, oh, let's just forget about him. They said he did help you with your kids if he paid half the bills in a household with five kids that wasn't his. Also, you allowed him to be there for 18 years. So they want to know, did your ex-husband pay half the bills? He did. So let me say this. Um, I don't know if they're trying to do like fact checks or something like that. I don't know how we're gonna pull these receipts, but I wouldn't be on here lying on this guy. Um, he was a good guy. I never said he wasn't. Um, I just did what I had to do. I did bring in five kids, so I did not expect him to be like, "Oh, I'm about to go get five jobs to take care of all your damn kids." And I never asked him to do that. So be clear. If my kids needed something, I went and got another job or whatever I needed to do to make sure my kids had what they needed. Now, he could have been a bigger man or whatever and said, no, babe, you don't have to go get a second job. I'll He's supposed to be the bigger hours, man. Or I'll get a second job and pull a little bit more weight so you don't have to worry about that. So I did that for 18 years because that's the type of person I am. And uh, my kids are my responsibility, whether I'm married or not, they came from me. So, and I did that and I did not complain about it for 18 years. I still came home and I cooked and cleaned. I was a great wife, a excellent mom. So yes, I allowed him to share that experience and have his kids raised decent with me. 
You know, we didn't have any issues. We didn't argue. We didn't fight. We didn't have none of that. So there wasn't an issue that I had to be like, okay, this marriage is over, done, uh, because you ain't pulling your weight. I mean, that type of person. It's only money. I'll go my ass to work and get some more money. And we live a good 18 years. So let me ask you this. Did the other that. men, <laughs> the other four men, were they giving you child support? No. So no. don't you feel as though they like that energy of what that extra money that you needed for your children, like those other four men definitely should have helped you out with child support because oh, it's I, I feel like that. Part, right? I, I, I definitely feel like that should have happened. But again, I feel like, you know, they my kids. I have always taken care of my kids. You know what I mean? So I didn't ask them and I didn't ask my husband. I just feel like um, since he was there with me side by side, then that was some that was a discussion actually that we never had. So if he felt like he shouldn't have taken on that responsibility, like I don't want to take care of your kids, and he could have said that as well. Why don't hey babe, why don't you just go to the courts and get some child support from them or whatever like that? But it's okay because I didn't ask my husband and I didn't ask their dad, so I didn't ask none of the dads for money. So I'm not coming on here saying like, oh, I got all these deadbeat dads. I'm not a dad be mom. I did what I had to do. And they are really irrelevant to me. So I the children's fathers are. So let me. OK, so just for clear, the new repeat. man that you hold to me from this show, you don't want him to be involved in your kid's life. I didn't say that. Well, what? OK, so what is the dynamic that you desire? Um, I'm not holding him financially responsible. There's a difference. He's not, he, I'm not holding him just like I never hold anybody else to be financially responsible for my kids. That's the whole thing. And now my kid is grown. So definitely not going to be like asking them to buy no diapers. So what, okay. So what part is So if the men that you won't hold the men that are, uh, that impregnated you financially responsible, who is you going to hold financially responsible? Like those, the dudes that impregnated you, you should have got, I'm not saying put them on child support, but you should have, oh, hey, <laughs> I need some diapers. I need, where's that? Bruh. You going to take care of your kid? <laughs> Give uh, She gave them a free pass, but she said yes. he could have been a bigger man, a better right. man to go take on more responsibility for somebody else's responsibility. <laughs> Ask the ninjas they impregnated you for the financial support. <laughs> y'all are y'all got life twisted. Y'all got life <laughs> all fucked up. That falls on them dudes who nutted in you and got right. you to this point. They should it should be more on them. You shouldn't have to go ask your husband, or he shouldn't have to take on more weight because of something you did before him. That no. should be between. Listen, whether y'all want to believe this or not. Children belong to men. That's it. Like we could, you could tell. Uh, no, you, you. This is that woman give life, and they the a monolith, and nothing else matters. She just, she said they're irrelevant. Clear that they're irrelevant. No, they are relevant. They got you pregnant. They cultivated life with you. They should have some responsibility, and they should mm -hmm. have some authority. Yeah. See those things go hand in hand. See they take away the authority. And the responsibility, see, he can't say nothing. He can't chime in about what's going on. Well, she got mostly daughters with his daughters. And who is this man? And da -da -woo -da -woo -da -woo. that's why they mm -hmm. take away the financial so they can do they can be free. You can't say nothing. You don't pay no money. You're not involved in their life. You can't say nothing to her while she goes and opens her legs and have babies, 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 babies. Like, mm -hmm. this is so... This is so tacky, and I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it. Y'all women need to be ashamed. Shame should be brought back. She should have a scarlet letter. She up here proud and fighting back with the comments and the <laughs> questions that they asking. Wrong is two goddamn left shoes. <laughs> no, she wrong. Like, please, man, please. He ain't got no these men. No, no responsibility. No responsibility to the men who did you wrong. But the man who's coming to try to help and save something or try to rescue something, he's got to have more responsibility. It, it just mm. 
doesn't make sense. And now we're talking about the next man. Like, okay, so now we're here. We're not talking about, we're not supposed to be talking about her ex-husband. Oh, forget about him. It's, that's history. Now we're talking about the new man. So what's the new man supposed to do? He's what is he, what is his role? She want him, to, he could be financially involved, but he don't have to be financially responsible. So if he want to give some money, that's cool, but he ain't obligated to. Fellas, stop dealing with these multiple baby mamas. Point blank, period. It's no good. <laughs> it's no honor in it. Don't listen. Oh, it takes a real man to raise another. No, it, does. it takes a real stupid man to raise another man's children. He, This brother raised five. They were all and look what small. They, got they were all small. Like all of them were, were underage. She had small children when she met this man. Look what he got him. He's, he's a footnote. Now he's a footnote. <laughs> Oh, man. oh lord and she might still man. be fertile i don't know yeah because once the canal is open it's harder to close she might have yeah. a baby at 52 right Put two more babies on the next dude now you take care of nine goddamn <laughs> man please man please mm -hmm. please and then she says when we asked about um the question was asked about if he could have kids. She said she don't want no small kids. She's tired of mothering. I don't know what kind of grandmother she would be because that's on the horizon soon. Like she's she ain't got no nurturing spirit. She she took on all that responsibility and all that nonsense of raising these damn grim lords spare steps back to back. Like this and is just preposterous, man. We listed out the ages, and that's back to back 30, 29, 28, 25. 19, 18, and 16. Come back on to back. Come on, man. Multiple men back to back. Not you ain't even I'm giving saying, Coochie a rest. I'm saying they then they're the same <laughs> age. That means you went Hi. from right from the stitches to another motherfucker to get you pregnant. It takes nine months to have a baby. That's Come just on, so man. disgusting to me. Like shame man we need to bring back them <laughs> scarlet letters man we need to bring back them scarlet letters this is a shame she should be ashamed of herself and for i don't get how men okay you know she just had a baby you you right over there that's our fault what you that's doing over there you just she just literally got healed up and you over there Stop this is being not this not, this not the mother of your child that that might be a little bit different. Now you you know you couldn't wait for her to heal up and you know because that's your wife, that's the mother of your child. But I'm talking about she ain't had a child for another man. His DNA just came still, still in there, still up in there, and you ready to hop up in there? Stop being desperate, fellas. We gotta that's do better. That's nasty to me. We gotta do better. That's desperation. That means that brother. Like I'm saying, I don't know the quality of these men or whatever, but that sounds mm -hmm. desperate to me. You crawling up in something like you ain't got no better prospects, especially when we talking about we getting after the second, the first, second, third. Yeah. Maybe at the fourth, fifth, sixth. Like, come on, man. You can't find you nothing better than that. Those women are what they, they're used. They're used by somebody else. They might not be used up, but they've been used by somebody else. It's like using somebody else's toothbrush. Like, mm. come on, man. It's, it's it's not good, man. It's not healthy to go in after dudes, but these dudes be so thirsty and take whatever they can get. Have some dick discipline about yourself, man. You could do better than that. I never, I, I dated a single, a woman with a child one time. It was the worst experience I ever had in my life. I always thought to myself, I wouldn't do this. Why? I don't know. It's just something that wasn't appealing to me. I changed my stance when I had a child. Now I'm right back on where I was. Like I, I did it. I know what what it entails over there. So, with that being said, when we talking about three, four, five, six, seven kit, like come on, fellas, you gotta have more on the ball in that. You know where this is going. She ain't give no hell about the rest of them dudes before you. She ain't gonna give mm -mm. two fucks about you now. Going forward, they family doesn't include a man. Just think about that. Start there when they think about a family. It doesn't include a man. Their version of a family is a woman with a lot of kids. There's no man. There's no husband. There's none of that. So they can come on here and pan to the Kendra like they ready for a man. They want a man. They, 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 they horny. This lady's probably horny. She don't want no man. It ain't nothing you gonna do. All right, her kids are basically grown. So 
all the going with the kids thing is out the window. But that womb, come on, man, that shit been smoking. That shit been active <laughs> for years. Like that womb ain't no good neither. It ain't the freshest, most daisiest, best womb you can get. Go get you something better than this, man. For all them dudes, or anybody coming after maybe 20 years ago, 18 years ago, maybe it still was some juice left in the, the fruit to squeeze. <laughs> now it's over with. And that brother, like, I feel so sorry for that brother because I, to me, it sounds like he took on a little more than he what tried. she's trying to say. He tried, but he, you get no points. This is what you get for trying. Mm -mm. You kicked in your ass, sent on down the road. Like, stop, fellas. I'm, this is, fellas, please stop playing stepdaddy. Stop doing that shit. Or if you're going to do it, this got to be an exceptional woman. She got to pass all the metrics, all the tests, everything, put it through hoops, make her prove herself, whatever you're going to do. But to just take her word for it. And I'm sure she had five to six different sob stories when she's trying to tell a man to come in or come. Like, come on, y'all. This is pitiful. This is, this is a shame. Shame. But we celebrate this, man. Our community is twisted by these type of things right here. This is a shame. And so we're just going to give our final thoughts now. Um, this is yet another Mama 7 that we have showcased on the show. Many more to come. Um, and there's been many on the Kendra G show. This is just pitiful that someone that is my skin color this is how we're looked upon as baby mamas. Like, I don't have any kids, but I'm pretty sure people look at me like, <laughs> you know, being a black woman, oh, you know, you're loud, you're aggressive, um, angry black woman, and baby mamas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got a whole bunch of baby daddies and ghetto, mm -hmm. ratchet. Those are all the things that are, that are looked upon a black woman. Yeah. And to be none of that. We get judged by our worst. Yeah. We it's, get judged by our worst. ridiculous. Like, it, I just me, want us to do better and, sure. and and be better. Like, we, we can do better than this. We can as a community. For sure. uh, go ahead, Bay. It's for me, it's the universal acceptance that this is just something that, you know, it's just a norm. Kendra does this show all the time and we see these types we've seen eight seven five six eight, we've, we've seen all the numbers high astronomical numbers of baby daddies and baby mamas i'm not with this like that's just me i'm gonna bring i'm gonna call attention to what need to be called attention to the the world or our culture as a whole might accept this i'm not i don't think this is right i think this lady should be ashamed of herself that's just me i don't think that what she's doing, what she's presenting right here is anything to celebrate, like, or anything to, you know, to honor or respect. Like, I, I lost respect for this lady by her rhetoric. And I, and most of the women, now, look, again, she's got seven kids, six daughters, 30 and under. What do you think their rhetoric and what do you think they're going to think about men? What do you think they're going to, you know, uh, repeat from their upbringing and what they saw towards men? So we're going about to have another generation. And if they follow her path, then they're going to have four, three, four, five baby daddies. And this is just it's just spreading. It's like it's nasty business. It's just nasty business. And I'm sick of it. Call it for what you want. You could agree. You could roast. You could say, oh, yeah, I don't know. It's disgusting. And she should have a scarlet letter on her. And that's what I feel. That's my final thoughts. Anything else you want to say, Queen, before we wrap this up? No, nope, that's it. Well, you heard what we think. More importantly, we want to hear what you think. Get down, leave it in the comments. If you feel we were on base, off base, you know, we are 360 degree thinkers on this platform. We celebrate and definitely promote free thought. So leave a like if you choose to sub up on your way out. We'll be back with some more Kendra G foolishness real soon. We thank y'all for coming out and y'all have a good night.